What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with some nerdcore for y'all and such. And we got Mr. Wear Bear himself, Schwabity, with his Gabi Maru song, rap song, The Hollow in Me, featuring Top Ham Tokyo. That was paradise. Now, y'all already know it's been a. When was the last time we even heard Top Ham Tokyo? Well, actually. Let me rephrase that. When was the last time we even got a verse from him? The last time we got a verse from him was like from what? Two freaking years ago when he was on Rustage's Alucard rap song. So, but then again, I feel like whenever, this is my thing whenever it comes to an artist, whenever they take their time, when they collaborate with other artists. That whenever when they take their time with it, Sometimes it be the best work. So, as we already know how Schwab it is, and and it's basically like this. I know this. Y'all gotta remember, he Japanese, so don't expect me to know what the heck he's going on. I'm just gonna go off the way how he's going in cadence and flow. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. So production by Bloom Gums, mix, mix and mass. Hold on, what is it? Mix and what? Mixed by Schwabity and mastered by Fable. Okay. This world is here to be headed. They said the feds what you make it, but we still live beneath the weight of the rain of a set. It's the fray that changes the day to day, making plays. It's no stranger sent me to blaze and come asking how hot the flame is. Now there's no sorrow in me. It left me hollow. Could off the past, it's all following me. So no tomorrow. But she changed me, never defeat. Taste is still on my knees. Where the night is. Hold up, this got that like rap rock feeling, hold up. And you know how I feel about the rap rock and such, cause 9 times out of 10, with the likes of Limp Biscuit and freaking Kid Rock and such, when they doing it, it's fire. Yeah, yeah, you already know what I told you. If, it's crazy that he said I speak Japanese, but then I guess that's his only English, I guess you can say. So, he's only like English words. He could be able to say, but then he did say F up and such. So it Okay, Reese. I know I gave you props before whenever it comes to you editing the video, but after, uh, but knowing how Top Ham Tokyo is about to, Top Ham Tokyo about to go crazy in Japanese, you is definitely earning your commission, <laughs> cause we know how this man loves to go crazy when it comes to the Japanese. Hold on, let me see if there's captions for his part and such, cause I know damn well 
You know I'm not gonna answer. It just says music. Now I have so much to lose. Stop him, Tokyo just went cr crazy and such. Just that. That's how he sounds. Walking through fire to reach up to you. I was thrashing in water so dark and so deep. You reached in a hell when you reached out to me. I love Bloom Gums like I guess you can say he's like that rap rock addition to Nerdcore because not a lot of the only times I've ever seen like somebody do that is like Fable and such but you can see in a way like his is more of like a hip hop type of thing especially when it comes to like the like the beats like the switching of the beats you can hear you can hear like a hip hop beat in in fables with bloom gums it's more of like that rap rock beat which is weird to say because you may say it's the same but if you really listen to fables more and then you hear bloom gums production you can definitely tell whose beat is more of a hip hop rap hip hop rock type vibe and whose is like a rap rock type vibe <laughs> Definitely a bloom bombs I'm surprised you didn't want to put Fable on this. You should have put Fable. You should have featured Fable on this too. I ain't gonna lie. Because the way how this vibe is going. Especially the screen part. You had to. You had to feature Fable on this. You should have. I mean. And that break part. You know that's a fit. That's a fable staple too. I, go wherever you I guess you can say that's more of like the fable. Or you can say the fable like what's it called? The fable inspiration right there where for that for that little space right there, you just give it you just let the beat just go out and such. Because I can guarantee you right here, this little part this part right here, if fable was featured on it. He would go freaking crazy. I would just hear this thing as after when he says that, Fable would just go crazy too, just <laughs> and such. Bloom comes production, man. Hold up, ma'am. Ma'am? Man, I mean to say. Hold up, let me let this play out. See, we're gonna skip it. Here we go. But I gotta say. Bloom Gums production man is definitely like I said, it's giving that giving like that rock rap vibe. 
where with the likes of like like i said at the start with limp biscuit and kid rock and such it gives me that type of vibe because y'all don't know i lose i always listen to those guys so in a way it definite i definitely can hear it and such but either way man i'm saying knowing how top ham tokyo was gonna go crazy on his japanese and such which either way no disrespect because i don't know what the freak he was i don't know what the freak he was saying Cause like I told you, I was just going going there with the cadence and flow. Motherfucker sound like a bull. He was just yeah, especially that sound right there. The way how that flow sound that and such. But either way, the one thing I can give it though, the one the one little flaw I want to give it, I know it's like a rap rock beat, but I wish the I wish it was like turned up a little little bit more louder. Because even though I have it on max volume and such, I had it on max volume, I wanted it to be a little bit more louder. I wanted to beat at least the production of it be a little bit more louder. But either way, it was still fire nonetheless. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Make sure to go follow my other reactions right here. Sorry, I keep forgetting the point. It's right here and such. Follow me on all my socials up there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Threads. And apparently now Twitter is called X now, so that's so one of my socials is gonna have to change. But regardless, go follow me on all my socials up there. And it's been a boy Humbuziki signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.